What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the King's Court. I am your host, Kingmaker. Thank you for joining me today at the roundtable. Today, we're going to be reacting to 12 interesting Mandela effects. I love things like these. The Mandela effect is when we remember something in history that's different uh, than what actual reality says it is is if you're not a member of the royal family go ahead and hit the subscribe button it can't hurt you um it does help me and with that being said let's jump into today's video oh yeah come check us out in discord the link is down in the description What's up guys, Ariel for the Book of Alice channel here. Thank you so much for supporting and blowing up that recent Obscure Theory Iceberg videos. Okay. I appreciate y'all. I'm currently working on another part of the series, so be on the lookout for that. Either way, today we go over 10 new Mandela effects that people have recently noticed in pop culture, media, and or in life in general. Some of these may sound outrageous, okay. but remember, these aren't my concepts. The so I can only explain Bear Stein, what I So yep. if someone finds something better, feel free to comment. Consider subscribing to the channel as well at the end of the video if you enjoy it and like the topics that I cover. Without further ado, let's begin. Fruit Loops Flip Flop You may be okay. thinking, I already know this Mandela effect. Why is he bringing it up again? Well, trust me, there's a new update to this. How do you remember Fruit Loops being spilled? Is it fruit spilled with two O's or fruit spilled correctly? I I feel like it was always this one, fruit, L-O-O-P-S. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like that's what it's always been. But I could be wrong. No funny business. Fruit Loops is spilled with two O's. No, it's uh, not. Spilled incorrectly for creativity's sake. Though this has tripping tons no. of people up as no. they remember already no. going through this Mandela effect once. No, I Some don't know. Some remember no. that in the old Mandela effect, Fruit Loops was spelled correctly with the U and the I. No, this is fake. Fake news. Fake news. It's fake. Everybody knows it's F-R-U-I-T. And that the Mandela effect was that people misremembered it being spelled with double O's. Like this, of course. This Reddit user's reaction to the change states, wait, WTF. I remember being shocked that it wasn't spelled fruit with double O's, but it is now actually spelled that way. It's a Mandela effect of a Mandela effect. Something that I'd never believe would happen, and it's crazy to think about. It's got some thinking that we're living in a broken timeline. Some think that the uh -huh. correct answer is flipping back and forth in this current timeline. Brazil 9-11 Dragon Ball Z. I've never heard of this one, um, but I am interested. I love Dragon Ball Z, and I know what happened on 9-11, so... This one's got a funky title, but let me explain. A lot of people argue that Mandela Fix mainly changed things within the United States and United States culture. But here's one from a different country. Okay. This Mandela Fix pertains to people in Brazil on the day of September 11th, 2001. Check out this post of someone from Brazil explaining it. It has a total of 5,000 upvotes. First of all, in Brazil, you typically don't go to school, middle school or high school, doesn't matter, for the entire day. You are in school either in the morning, usually 7.30 a.m. Okay. to noon, or in the afternoon, usually from 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Okay. Every single person who was a kid in Brazil and was not in school in the mornings on the day of September 11th, tons of people remember watching Dragon Ball Z and having it to be interrupted for the breaking news of... I was actually in middle school at the time of 9-11, so I was not, un or I was unfortunately not able to watch Dragon Ball Z. The attacks, and I mean everyone. It comes up every single time someone asks, what were you doing when September 11th happened? Except Dragon Ball Z wasn't even on at the time. Someone checked the airing times and compared them to the time when the attacks occurred, and it was definitely not on. Okay. Still, a whole generation of kids is 100% sure that they were watching Dragon Ball Z when the news broke out. Okay. Edit. Everyone's saying this isn't real and they edited the timetables after the fact. You sound like conspiracy theorists. Look up Occam's Razor. This has been thoroughly discussed by Brazilians on the internet. It's not something new. Like someone else said in this thread, the TV show that played Dragon Ball Z wasn't even aired on that day. Scary Movie 2, Take My Strong Hand. Okay. In Scary Movie 2, there's a bit in which Chris Elliott plays a character that has With a, a small mutilated hand that yep. grosses everybody out. 
due to the fact that he uses it while preparing dinner for yeah, his guests. Yeah, that kind of freaked now, me out. There's a very specific scene in which someone is hanging right outside the window and struggles to get back inside. This is where the Mandela effect kicks in. Some vividly remember Hansen, the character with a deformed hand, stating, Here, take my strong hand. I feel like I remember offering that. offering to help him. Although he I never definitely feel like this, I remember that. He simply states, Here, take my hand. Although some recall reenacting this scene I did not multiple know that. times, with the punchline being that the strong well, hand then. is obviously the non-mutilated one, but instead he uses the mutilated one, which people are uncomfortable I with. I don't know if kids can watch there this. There are even memes depicting him stating strong hand. Let me know if you guys recall it always being this way. Dragons in the Bible. Okay. You know, I remember there being serpents, snakes, and other beasts found in the Bible, vaguely, but not specifically dragons. That's where this Mandela effect comes into play. A large group of people do not remember there being any mentions of dragons in the Christian Bible, although dragons are mentioned at it least. It does talk about a beast with the King seven James heads version, and the most popular version horns of the English or something Bible. like that. Some people argued this, saying that they only appeared in Ten the horns Revelation and seven heads. chapter, the final book of the New Testament. Sounds exactly the only like a Hydra. apocalyptic book in the Bible that is considered canon. Though this is entirely wrong, as the word dragon appears 21 times in the Old Testament alone. This has left some people confused and searching for an explanation. Some have concluded that these dragons were in fact describing dinosaurs. Same thing goes for the creature Leviathan, found in the book of Job, a massive powerful sea monster that some believe was a sea dinosaur, or factually known as mosasaurs. What do you guys think? Does anyone remember these creatures? So when you start looking at ancient history, they start, you know, if you, if you go back to, I think it's Samaria, when they talk about defeating Tiamat, who was the serpent of the waters, and they crafted the earth out of her body. Um, it's really interesting. Serpent, Leviathan, dragon, whatever you want to call it. Serpent um, iconography has always been major, major part of religion and history. So it's really interesting to see that, you know, the Bible's just carrying on more older tales from like Sumeria or Babylon being in the Bible, or were they added later? Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. Okay. This one is definitely controversial. Most of you guys have probably already heard the song Smooth Criminal by sure. King of Pop Michael Jackson, right? And well, okay? how do you guys remember the bridge okay? of the song going? You okay, is it, Danny? you've been hit by... You've, You've been, been struck, struck by, by a, a smooth, smooth criminal. criminal. Yes. Is that how you remember it? Yes. Well, it actually states in the original recording, you've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. The line simply repeats, nothing different. That's crazy. Although many others no. remember the word struck no. being used in the second line. Here are some covers of the song made by people that remember. You know what? AFI, right? So I, I AFI covered this song, um... Or is it Alien Ant Farm? One of the two. I can't remember which one it was, but I'm pretty sure I remember You've Been Hit By, You've Been Struck By a Smooth Criminal. It this way. You've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Though I'd like to know Forget that you, in Jackson, some live performances, such as concerts and such, he does appear to say struck by in the second verse, but not in the first verse, which is a subtle and unexplainable change, explaining maybe why some people remember it this way. Though some dedicated MJ fans still remember the original recording containing the lyric. Take a listen to the Argentinian concert version at the 320 minute mark, more than halfway in. See? See? Converse logos. This one's sure to spark something in the comments, as I see a okay. lot of people arguing about it online already. So, you guys know the famous shoe brand Converse, right? Okay. And their signature Chuck Taylor model? Sure. Well, some people remember the logo facing the outside, like many other shoe brands, yeah, in order to advertise the brand even more. Though, the logo was always on the inside face of the shoe. Hmm. Yeah. This has some people tripping out, but not all, as some distinctly remember it being a unique feature to the Converse Chuck Taylor model, due to it facing the inside of the shoe. Okay. Spirited away scene. If you don't right. know, spirited away. Right. I am a huge 
fan of Spirited Away. Love it. Seen it multiple times, multiple, multiple, multiple times with my wife. So I'm ready for this one. I am ready to tell them that this is bullshit. Away is a 2001 Japanese anime film written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki, a legend and pioneer in the industry. Spirited Away tells the story of a 10-year-old girl who, while moving to a new neighborhood, she enters the world of kami, spirits of Japanese Shinto folklore, after her parents are turned into pigs by a witch. Yep. The 10-year-old takes a job working in Yubaba's bathhouse, okay. the witch's house, to find a way to free herself and her parents and return to the human world. A truly majestic and beautiful movie, I might yes, say. Yes, absolutely. Now, go this Mandela effect comes from it. people in Japan who remember a scene in the movie differently. They regard it as the phantom ending. Believed to be part of an extended cut, people okay. scram to find the scene everywhere across the internet, but it sadly led to nothing, as the scene simply didn't exist. In order to not spoil it for you guys, I'm not going to explain the end, but I'll simply say that it ends on the scene where a tunnel is depicted, though most don't remember it this way. They don't remember that it stops there, and they remember that it keeps on going for a few more scenes, as depicted in this Minecraft reenactment of the Phantom ending. So where did it go? Is everyone simply misremembering? Okay. Some say that it may have been shown only in the theatrical releases, although this was proven to be wrong by the creator Hayao Miyazaki himself. Shaggy's Adam's Apple. I feel like it kept going, like they drove out of there back to the house. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. I have to watch it again. It's so good. I will go watch it again. If you guys haven't seen it, please, please, I am begging you, go watch Spirited Away. Here is something that may surprise you. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, the franchise, has never appeared with an Adam's Apple in all of the canon series and media up to 2021. And you may say something like, okay, maybe he doesn't have it all the time. But it definitely occurs when he gulps or states his catchphrase, zoink, right? Nope. It never appears even when he's swallowing or gulping or saying his catchphrase. None of his designs depict him. I feel like I remember apple. having Though that. For some apple. specific scenes from the show, he has shown swallowing with a lump down his throat, which may be an explanation for some of these Mandela fix, although some argue that it is not the way that they recall his Adam's apple being. They recall a more pronounced and defined feature that's more realistic. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like people may be confusing the two. But then again, his original character designs don't have I feel like a he definitely Adam's had apple an Adam's apple. Remember. Here's a clip of what people remember him like. Dogs playing poker. Okay. You guys can probably recall the famous painting of dogs playing poker. Sure. Now, sure. do you guys recall them wearing green transparent visors in any of the variations of the painting? Mm. Well, you'd be mistaken due to the fact that in most, if not all, popular variations, they are not wearing anything on their heads at all. Okay. Let alone a green transparent visor as many people recall them wearing. There is in this one variation in which a single dog okay. is wearing a green hat. He's got hat. one on. But it's nowhere close to a transparent visor, oh, and they aren't that's even fair. playing poker. Though this is the closest thing that it may have been confused with. Do you guys recall something similar, or is this just... This one's hard to say. It's so... I don't SpongeBob really had shoe art, laces. So. This Mandela effect is in reference to SpongeBob's shoes, and whether or not they contain shoelaces. Okay. Well, the simple answer is they don't. Though many people recall SpongeBob always depicted with white shoelaces with the bunny rabbit tie method, this was never the case. I thought he had a His tie original shoes character in the design depicted him with but I guess plain not. black shiny shoes. Though there is a piece of media where this might derive from. It comes from the Loopy yeah. Loop song performed by band Ween for the series, teaching people how to tie their shoes. Finally depicting a SpongeBob with shoelaces. Hello, my baby. Hey, I guess Hello, that's my... uh, how it goes, man. This is in reference to the Michigan Hello, my J baby. Frog Hello, tune, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. the famous line, Hello, my baby. Hello, my what? Darling? What does he say after Darling? That? Is it darling? Darling is the only answer. If it was darling, you'd be mistaken. It's actually, Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Which tons of people recall differently. I can't find a single version of the song online where the word darling uh... is used instead of honey. If you guys have any uh, versions where this is the case, leave a comment. As one Reddit user put it, I sing this uh, all the time to my pets. Hello my babies, hello my darlings, hello my good time dogs. So yeah, darling for me, I recall it from some old Looney Tune cartoon. I can also recall a frog dancing and doing high kicks while singing it. He also had a top hat. 
But I could also see Foghorn Lakehorn uh, singing it as well. The Last Supper. Okay. The Last Supper okay. is a mural painting by Leonardo da Vinci. This painting it's represents a masterpiece, the scene by the way. of the Last Supper of Jesus with his 12 apostles, as it's said in the Gospel of John, specifically the moment after Jesus announces that one of his apostles will betray him. This Mandela effect touches on a missing object in the painting, that being a gold cup. Many people remember there being a gold cup right besides Jesus sitting on the table. Okay. Although looking at the painting now, there is no gold chalice anywhere on the table. So where is the Holy Grail? Ooh. It's on the wall. Yeah, out of everywhere, puzzling tons of people due to it being in a bizarre place. Is this new to you guys or do you guys always remember the cup being on the wall? Uh, it's hard to I'm say. I don't question. remember looking at How many wine glasses are there on the table? Art too much. One. The Holy Grail? Open your eyes. No single cup. No chalice. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Considering both the Bible and standard. Other than that, thanks for watching and consider checking out my other YouTube videos. That was 12 interesting Mandela effects. I personally enjoy it. I love stuff like this. So we're going to go. We're going to go hit the subscribe button. We're going to go hit the like. If you guys enjoy this content and want to join the royal family, definitely, definitely, you are welcome. Come do that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Join us on Discord. We'll see you all later. Peace.